in the reserves, and I work with uh, the JAG Corps, which is concentrated on military justice. So, I'm a lawyer by profession, and I hereby head the Uganda Boston Community Association. That association has most of the Ugandans, or oh, some much of the 99%. Only 1% may not have passed through Boston. <laughs> Everybody that comes to the diaspora goes through Boston. Who is a Ugandan? Not, not other countries. So I'm proud of this association. It was formed in 2010, and then it collapsed. <laughs> and then they had to revive it. In 2013, they came back full force. They registered it, and it came into existence. Next slide. So, it's a concept, it's very simple. It's a non-profit, and it's share common goal with all the social, cultural, and economic interests, and it aims at uniting Ugandans in the diaspora. That is our main aim, we wanna know every Ugandan. We're building a database for every Ugandan because we're huge, we're over 20,000 in there. But we don't know each other, there's only Right now I have a, a, a registered WhatsApp group and it has only 600 people, we are 20,000. So I really need more numbers, because num in, in America, what makes everything going? Numbers. You can't do anything without numbers. Success is about what? Numbers. So if you're looking for organizations to prosper, get your databases right. When you do get your data, you're gonna get the numbers, you're gonna get the emails, you're gonna get the phone contacts, and you're gonna excel. So that's what in Uganda Boston Community we are doing. Next slide. So we have a team of 10 people who work with me. These 10 people are, I have a Vice President, Prosina Manda. I have a Treasurer, Ms. Eddie Kawungu. I have a Madame Women, we call her Madame Women, Prosi Nasozi. We have the Youth Representative, Louis Kasivante. We have the Legal, Madame Jackie Alitunda. We have the one for employment, Omunangira Tukanga. We have the one for secretary and also the publicity. He goes by the names of Moses Ontaka. So that is us. Our major goal is to preserve the Ugandan culture, which Mr. Ka, Dr. Kauma has just talked about, the values and norms. I believe in values because I'm a military girl. If you don't have values, your organization is going nowhere. 